Welcome and welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Jo. If this is your first time seeing my face, make sure to hit that subscribe button before we get started. Turn on your post notifications so you don't miss the upload. Give this video a thumbs up so it helps more people see it. And also comment down below. So for today's video, it's a sit down, relax video. Um, I just wanted to sit in front of the camera and be like super transparent and honest so i've been struggling really really bad mentally lately and um i feel like why not make a video um talking about it so that people feel like you know they have someone to relate to um and it's like a normal it's a normal thing to be struggling mentally like you shouldn't feel ashamed or feel bad about it um so i wanted to make this video so if that's something that you're interested in then please continue to watch um so like i said i have been struggling really bad mentally lately um last month it was the same but it was other circumstances which you know but this month oh my goodness i think i've had three or four total like complete meltdowns breakdowns like i crying uncontrollably just like i it's just life it is hard sometimes you know i've been thinking about filming this video for like the past few days when i was in the shower today um i was thinking of something and it literally was like a mind-blowing thing i started this thing i did it at about three or four times so far is like voice journaling so literally I just like speak into my phone and there's like a um, memo voice memo setting so I literally just speak into my phone um, and express how I'm feeling at the moment but I've been realizing when I've been doing that um, all I've been doing is crying and saying like oh I don't know why I feel like this like I don't know how to express myself Basically, in those voice things, I was just crying and, like, not knowing. Um, and I was thinking that. So, hear me out. So, the reason why I feel like I don't know how to, like, properly express myself when I... So, I know how to express emotion, if that makes sense. I know how to show I'm happy. I know how to show I'm sad. I know how to show anger. Um, but I don't know how to express explain like like my feelings properly when i'm feeling like a certain kind of way and we're gonna bring it back growing up um one of many lines that my mother used to say is stop crying before i give you something to cry about you know and then i I forgot you forget about like little things like that but so like we weren't really able to like I guess express ourselves properly um and I was like it literally a light bulb went in, on in my head when I was in the shower and I'm like oh my god that makes total fucking sense because I don't know how to express myself now like the only expression I know like when I'm angry I that's it I just know how to show anger like you can tell that I'm angry um, but when I'm feeling a certain way or if I'm feeling sad or anything I don't know how to come up with the words to express why I'm feeling sad and now I know why it's because when I was younger we were really never uh, like we weren't encouraged encouraged to express ourselves whether we were feeling happy sad we weren't encouraged like that wasn't like we didn't sit around the table talking about our feelings literally it would be like stop crying or i'll give you something to cry about like i'm literally two not two for that but you know i'm like a child i don't know any better so i guess that's where it stems from so i to say that because it popped in my head i'm like holy fuck like you don't really know where your traumas come from unless if you're not like actively thinking about it but that makes perfect sense and i'm so glad that i discovered that today lately i haven't been feeling like doing anything like anything it's literally taken every ounce of my being to get out of bed 
um, and like actively work on myself and actively go work out and actively eat better. Like it's taken everything in me to do that because I don't know. I just been feeling really emotional and I I don't know. That's that I don't know. And the me before I started working on myself, like if I was to feel any type of way, I would literally lay down all day on the couch, be on my phone all day, um, not do anything productive, eat junk food, eat bad for myself. So it's literally been taking me everything for me not to revert back to how I used to feel, like how I used to cope when I would feel a certain way since I don't really know how to express it right now. Um, it's literally been hard and I wanted to make this video because uh, you know I w literally just recently moved into my dream place like I'm so grateful for that so like so everything seems like it should be perfect but mentally I'm still going through a lot and I want to make this video in case anybody could you know relate or feel like everything you know what you see or people put that out there you never know like the backstory behind anything so no comparison don't compare your life to anybody else but i want to also um tell you what i've been doing to help me try to get out of like i guess this funk that i'm in um so now that i know that i need to learn how to express how i'm feeling i got me a like a journal that i'm gonna start asking myself like daily questions and then breaking it down why am i feeling like this then when I have the why, ask why again, why again, keep asking the question until I get to like the real root of, you know, the issue. Um, and also I have my bullet journal. I showed you guys this before in a morning routine. So this is some other stuff that has been helping me keep me busy in a sense so that I don't revert back to the old me because I'd be this close. To doing so um yeah it's literally every day i have to wake up and decide i want better for myself i want better for my life i want better for my mental i want better for my body and every day is a struggle to continue to choose the better option um because um the things i have been doing like every day i wake up i make sure i make my bed so first, I make my bed because it encourages me not to get back in it so I don't mess it up. Um, and then I start off by drinking a bottle of water just to get everything inside me flowing. And then I say some affirmations to myself. Um, anything, so like wherever you're struggling with, just say um, your body. If you're struggling with your body, pick like three to five good affirmations that you can look in the mirror and say to yourself like for me i would like i love my body i love my confidence i'm sexy i'm smart any affirmations keep telling yourself it daily you know you just gotta rewire your thinking um and then i do stretches and i've you know i've been if you guys see my other video i'm doing the 75 day soft challenge and i'm on day 20 so i have been continuing to do that and i feel like that's also helping me stay focused as well because i really want this so bad for myself um that i'm willing no matter how i'm feeling no matter if i want to be lazy i'm willing to push myself that much further because i know i'm so much further than where i started from so why revert back if i'm like i can like reach for what I want that's how close I am then you know to go back three yeah, 10 million steps you know um, and then I'm also been trying to meditate anywhere from two to five minutes daily to try to clear my mind it's hard um, because your mind just runs but that's one thing I've been doing and then at the end of the night I've been saying Listen, all some things that I'm grateful for that happened during the day to remind myself, you know, no matter how I'm feeling that, that good things are happening. Like, for example, I say I'm grateful for my safety because every time I leave my apartment and come back, I'm safe. I'm, I'm, no, I didn't get hurt. Or I'm grateful for my clean shower and my 
clean water that I get to brush my teeth and take a shower and I'm grateful for having food to cook for myself. Literally things that is so normalized because we have access to it. Some people don't have access to the basic necessities. So those are the things that I try to say daily that I'm grateful for just to remind myself like it's a luxury to have a roof over my head. It's a luxury to have my own room, my own bathroom, to have whatever I want to put clothes I want to put on my body. Everything is a luxury. So I continuously remind myself that and be grateful for all the little things. And then I um, also been reading. So this is the book that I'm reading now. You are a badass. How to stop downing your great. My camera died, but I wanted to make sure I finished this video. So now I'm recording on my phone. Um, but yeah, like I said, another thing that's been helping me mentally is just reading reading different kind of books and this to see if I can give myself that little mm, that I need because something is missing. I don't know what it is. Um, and I think it's the fact that I know a, a lot of people can relate to this that I do not know what in life is next for me. And I know that is what's fucking me up mentally. I'm thinking to head in the future. Every aspect of my life, career-wise, money-wise, it's just everything. I'm just thinking too far in the future that I'm making myself sad. I'm making myself, um, you know, I'm just fucking with my mental because I'm just thinking too much about things that are not important at this current moment. Um, and then also, I've just been doing different things that I love. The other day, I bought myself some flowers. I'm trying to um court myself and romanticize my life you know just treat myself good um i go skating i've been painting so just doing different things that i love to try to put my put me back in like the best mental place possible because i do not like feeling like this and it comes in waves like lately i've been told you i've been feeling like really just really struggling but before before this i've been doing okay so i just want to get back in a place of doing okay now this is part of like the healing journey the like up and downs and i'm ready and willing you know i'm ready i'm going i want to go through it so that i can get over it i hope you guys um i don't know if you guys will find this really helpful i don't know but i hope you um helpful in a sense, like I hope you realize that even if you feel like you are the only person in the world feeling some type of way about something right now, or going through something like you're literally not alone. Do not do not um, look at somebody else's life and be like, oh my God, they're they're seem so happy. They're never going through everything is working out for them because you really never know. Like I said, what people are going through in the background. People only post what they want you to see they don't really post like the whole there's 24 hours in a day you probably see like 30 minutes or one instagram post of somebody's life and you know we're not doing it we're not we're not comparing okay um, me and jazz are gonna start posting on our channel again i'm keeping it real with jazz and joe i'll link it down in my description so you guys could go over there and subscribe we're gonna be talking about all this stuff because i feel like when we were making those videos i was like opening it up and like us just talking it out was like helping me heal through some of this stuff. So we're gonna start making those videos again so that I can, I, I just wanna, you know, I just wanna keep going. I don't wanna backtrack, I just wanna keep going. Just a reminder, um, which is a reminder for myself as well. Second, take life second by second literally break it down that simple or day by day just like worrying about things in the future is what messes us up you know mentally it's like causing stress that and we're thinking about things that we have no control over so just a daily reminder take it second by second and the things that you cannot control we just gotta let it go i know it's easier said than done because that's what i've been struggling with but we just gotta feel how you're feeling Fill it fully and then let it go and have faith that things, you know, will work out exactly how they're supposed to work out, when they are supposed to work out, how they are supposed to work out. You know, you just gotta keep the faith alive and then we'll be good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little different for me. Um, 
But if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. In this video, I almost cried, but I don't. I just want to take it there today, you know, because I've been crying, I get like a headache, and then I can see it's sleepy. So, but if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video.